Hello, my name is Dorothy. I am a clinical psychotherapist in private practice, and I work with clients all over the world. What could you be more accepting of, of yourself and towards others? Perhaps at this time more than ever before, we might begin to practice greater acceptance of not only the world we live in, but also how we contemplate the relationships of our life. So here, I wanted to give you some insight as to what it means, what it feels like, what it looks like to hold complete acceptance. Let's begin with a relationship in your life that you may be struggling with because there's a difference in how you and the other person think, what your beliefs are, the level to which you're willing to be honest and forthcoming. For as much work that you may have invested into yourself, it doesn't mean that all of our relationships are going to show up and be what we need them to be. It also doesn't mean that we can rely on the other person to hold the same values and to honor the same ways of being. So if you are struggling to have the kind of relationship that you would like, remember acceptance. Remember that you will free yourself to have the kind of relationship that's possible when you allow the other person to be who they are without needing to continue to change them, without needing them to be different. That's a hard pill to swallow because the more work you do on yourself, the more you work on becoming the best version of you, it also moves you further from the people that you've interacted with, that you've allowed for the relationship to be mediocre. Perhaps now you want more from your relationships. Perhaps you realize the gaps and the voids and what was missing, the connection, the honesty, the transparency that perhaps won't ever be because the other person is not willing, not able, not committed to making that a part of what is important to them. So here's what you need to do. Whatever you notice and feel a lack of in a relationship, it's what you need to look for and provide within yourself. So we don't change people by, of course, demanding that they change or even requesting it at times. We influence and inspire change in others by showing them, by showing up being the change that we might seek in another person and repeatedly, consistently being that positive change. There will be some people in your life that you will never see the change that you need. They will not be able to be honest and authentic and have high moral conduct in the way that you need them to be. And so acceptance in the way that I'm describing it is that you allow them just to be where they are. You meet them where they are, you engage with them where they are, even though you will not always agree with what they say, what they believe, what they do. But if you want to have a relationship with that person, you will allow them to, you will accept them to be who they are. You will place whatever boundaries and guidelines for yourself that you need in order to protect in order to feel safe, in order to feel comfortable. It will limit the relationship that you are able to have with that person and part of acceptance is also recognizing that and being able to accept that, including what that means for you. And then to notice, this is important because you will notice where in your life you're able to have the kinds of relationships you want with others. It may surprise you the places where you can have the relationship that's more like what you want simply by you showing up and being your authentic self. At a time in the world where relationships have been reignited in our lives as being so important and for perhaps the illumination that some of our most important relationships are still not what we'd like them to be, acceptance plays a huge part in our ability to have a meaningful relationship. Again, wherever that other person is, perhaps not in the way that we need, but in the way that we're able to have. And I would also like to leave you with a few more thoughts. So I would love for you to have a listen, to take in my words and to just let them be felt. 
to experience their intuitive wisdom as it feels right for you. And I believe in listening further, you're going to have even more insight and wisdom to practice acceptance, true acceptance in the way that I'm speaking of it here. And your homework, your homework for the next week and beyond is this. Practice acceptance in this way. Allow yourself to assess the relationships in your life that aren't as fulfilling as you perhaps would need them or want them to be. And then to practice allowing them to be what they are, enjoying and being appreciative of what they give you, of what the other person is able to give you. Enjoy that relationship for what it is. And then you can look to the relationships in your life, perhaps fewer in number, but the relationships that will truly nourish your soul in the way that you need it to be. I think you're going to be surprised if you have a close look at which relationships you may be able to resurrect and to invest more in because of your willingness to be more and your ability to see that the other person is also showing up, giving you more of themselves. My hope for you is that you will have deeper, more nourishing relationships with those that are able to give this to you and to simply enjoy what the other relationships in your life offer without needing to fix or change them, just allowing that person to be as they are while you show up being your ultimate best self, showing up being the amazing being that you are, whole and complete which then allows you to enjoy more the other person as they are. And of course, I'd love to hear from you how this helped to inspire what changes you are going to make in your relationships. I hope it's a wonderful week. I will see you in the next video. If you've been enjoying this channel and the videos that you've watched, I invite you to subscribe so that you will be among the first to know when new videos are uploaded. I wish for you the best of what is already on its way to you. Namaste. Acceptance is not always agreement. It is the reminder of your freedom and the choice that you hold in all moments to love wholly and completely, to embrace all aspects, to change what is needed, to rise up in the harmony of what is being offered and shown to you and attend to this deeply. For you are of this obvious wonder. You are of its greatness. You are of its light. It finds you right here in the wonder of this life you lead. Hold wonder and with the attitude of acceptance, of living in this distinct knowing of your heart, overflowing in promise, in certainty, in truth. Acceptance is the allowing of what is here, what is before you. Acceptance is not needing or requiring of another to change for you for the relationship, for what you deem to be required. You may continue to work with the person, whether it is your child, a sibling, an aging parent, a stranger, a friend, to ask and then to guide what offering you are in search of, but then to know when to step away, to receive what the other person is willing to offer, to make it a practice upon yourself to ask and then to accept what the other is willing to reveal. We do not always have the kind of relationships that we would like. Sometimes it is through our perseverance and dedication that the relationship becomes what we make it. And at times it is because the other person is not able to meet our needs our needs of honesty, of trustworthiness, of kindness, of integrity. 
Acceptance must also be the understanding of this, the ability to allow for others on their own path and journey through life, and to release our attachments to what we can accept is not possible. Not as a result of our unwillingness, rather the acknowledgement and acceptance that another is unwilling or unable, or both. In the moments of complete acceptance, there is no sadness, only the gentle understanding of your heart and its perfect nature to love to love others as your human counterpart, of whom they may or may not be able to be for you and also for themselves. Acceptance is the understanding, the ability and need to allow another to be as they are, to soften into this and to meet them right where they are choosing to be. This doesn't mean that you must have a relationship with this person or any other. Rather, it means that you no longer give so much of yourself in vain. Acceptance is liberation. It frees you. You free yourself from the need to change another or a situation when your kind efforts have been in vain. Not everyone is ready. Not everyone is willing. Not everyone is able to be relieved from the thoughts that hold them back. You must decide when you are ready to release a hope that may not be possible. To accept what is. To continue to do your best on your path to bring into your life all that you continue to seek and wish for. You have this life. You hold this journey close to your heart. Follow in its expression. Let it lead you into more of what is wanted. Accept that you have many opportunities and much wisdom to reveal itself to you. Your offerings, your truth, is always for the realization that you are capable. You are enough. You have the liberating means of free will choice. This wisdom will guide you into the finding and having of great abundance in new choices new relationships that are reciprocal and loving, and the ability, the permission to release what is without needing to fix or change what is not, for now or maybe forever. Free your heart to this. Choose to accept what you cannot change and a homework practice for you is this. Practice acceptance in the way that I describe it here, in the way that you can decide what you need and what is important, and you can give this to yourself so that you do not make others responsible for your happiness for your feelings of worthiness and for feeling complete and whole. Do your best to accept others where they are. And from this, you may decide if and how you will choose to be in relation with them. It is that simple. If you are struggling with how to have acceptance, to uphold this in your relationships, if you wish to have my guidance on this as how it relates to your life, please reach out and book a session with me. 
We will work together and I will help you best navigate what acceptance and generosity you may allow to another to be who they are. You will decide how to meet them where they are and what the relationship can be because of this. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dorothy. Namaste. Please have a look in the description where you can find the link to sign up, be on the list to receive my weekly wisdom notes in your inbox. Thank you.